This is another in my series for those who are new to Linux. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to select printers and scanners that work with Linux. You should be aware that not every printer or scanner that works with Windows will work with Linux, but many will. If you go to the store and look on the box, or as I did in this case, if you look online under the system requirements for a particular printer, you'll find something like this that lists the minimum system requirements, and it usually lists several Windows versions and OS X versions that will work with this particular equipment. But generally, it will not list Linux at all. However, don't be discouraged. There are several ways you can find out whether a printer has Linux drivers available. One way is just to Google the printer you have in mind, and this is especially helpful if you already own the printer or are thinking of buying a particular printer. In this case, I already own this printer. I know it's available, but I'm going to look on the website here. And I'm going to click on support. And it asks me to enter the number again. I'm going to click on search. and then go down here and click on support for that particular printer. And down here I find downloads and drivers. I have to go down a little further. Downloads on our online solution center. Now select your operating system and here you see Linux and since I'm using Linux already it automatically has Linux checked. Now it asks me to select RPM or DEB files and since I'm using Ubuntu I would use a DEB file. Now just a word here, DEB files can work with Debian or work with Ubuntu or its derivatives but not all DEB programs work with both Debian and Ubuntu. However, I've found that printer drivers generally work with both Debian and Ubuntu. Likewise with RPM, not all RPM files work with both Fedora and OpenSUSE and Magia, but I've found that generally speaking, printer drivers do work with both Fedora and OpenSUSE, for instance, if you select RPM. So I'm going to click on Deb, and then I'm going to search. And then it gives me a variety of things to download. Now, I've already downloaded and installed these, so I'm not going to do it here. There's also an installation tool which you can download. I found that it doesn't particularly work, but it's okay. And when you download these things, you will get instructions and then you can follow those instructions. Another thing you can do is to go to documentation for the particular Linux version you're using. And sometimes even if you're not using that Linux distribution, it will give you some hints. This happens to be the community help wiki for Ubuntu. And there are several links on here. One is to a list of recommended printers from the Free Software Foundation, and that's unmaintained. And then there's another site here for you to browse Linux-compatible printers. Thinkpenguin.com, linuxprinting.org. Some of these lists are up to date, and some of them are not. And uh, down here further, you find manufacturer-specific installation. And here I can install Brother printers. Here I can install Canon printers, HP printers, HP all-in-one printers, Lexmark printers, Lexmark multifunction printers, Samsung printers, Xerox printers, Conigan Minolta, 
So you could spend several hours with this web page alone looking up various information on different printers. And you'll find similar pages for other versions of Linux. Now when it comes to scanners, one place to look is on the SANE web page, SANE supported devices, list of devices. You can order by manufacturer, you can order by backend name. So if I click on ordered by manufacturer, first it gives me a general breakdown up here. There are a total of 2,438 scanners. 1,547 are supported, 695 are completely supported, 716 have good support, 113 have basic support, 23 have minimal support, 404 are untested, and 487 are unsupported. It also lists cameras here. And if I continue to scroll down, I can find scanners from all sorts of different manufacturers. So if I click on Epson, for instance, it lists all the various model numbers, the status of how well supported they are, the link to the back end and the link to the manual page and the comment section here. There are literally pages and pages and pages of these things. The only reservation I have about this is that it's not always up to date. It's not always complete. Sometimes a particular scanner will not be listed as supported here, but you will be able to find Linux drivers on the manufacturer's web page. So be sure to check more than one source for your information. Now, some manufacturers offer better support than others for Linux. HP, for instance, includes the HP LIP utility in many Linux versions. By default, it comes already installed in Ubuntu Mate, which is what I'm using. Or you can easily download it, or you can get the latest version of it from the HP website and it lists literally hundreds of printers and all-in-ones. I've used several of these very successfully over the years with Linux, and as you can see, I have it installed here now. I have both an HP all-in-one with a printer and scanner and an Epson scanner and a brother printer, but the HP LIP supports my HP equipment. There's another utility here you may want. I don't have it installed now, and that's the HP LIP GUI. That's a HP Linux printing and imaging GUI utilities, cute based. And basically, that will give you a little more information about your printer. This, for instance, will give you ink levels and things like that, which you might not get from the basic driver. Of course, you can always resort to Googling your question about a particular printer or scanner, or you could Google something like printer XYZ does not work with Ubuntu and click on and search for that, and you may find several people who have said that that printer does not work with Ubuntu, and you might find several references that say, oh yes, it will, just do this, this, and this. So a Google search is a good way to find out a lot about the printer and how well it works or doesn't work with Linux. You have to be careful, though. Google searches are not always as specific as you want them to be. For instance, I've searched for best Linux printer 2018, and I get a little list here of best all-in-one printer 2018. It lists a lot of printers. Some of them don't work with Linux at all. So look beyond the surface here when you're doing Google searches. Here, if I click on what printers are compatible with Linux, I get a more Linux-specific list.
And of course, different third parties recommend different printers. And here's a list of databases, etc. So do a little research and you'll be able to find a printer or scanner that will work with your version of Linux. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.